Jadunak's Axe penalty conversion keeps Australia's campaign alive heading into a must-win game against Peru on Wednesday night 12 a.m. Thursday morning, AEST Schmeichel came under fire from commentators on social media, declaring the Leicester City keeper went too far in his attempt to play mind games with Jedernak. As the Aston Villa midfielder was lining up his kick from the spot, Schmeichel was spotted chipping Jedernak as he moved to place the ball at the penalty spot and was seen on the live SBS broadcast screaming at Jedernak as he moved to take his kick, he was even warned by the referee for getting too close to Jedernak. Before Australia levelled 1-1 to -one late in the first half when Schmeichel chose the wrong way and allowed Jedernak to send his penalty kick into a wide open right side of the goal, the Aussie star was in turn spotted screaming with emotion after slotting the goal. Socceroos legend John Aloisi told Optus Sport he suspects Jedernak's scream was directed at Schmeichel as payback, I wonder if it was directed towards Schmeichel, we don't know but we know Mile gets pretty angry when he scores those goals, Aloisi said, Fox Sports commentator, and Optus Sport reporter Michael Zappone said it was clear Schmeichel was mouthing off. We picked up that Kasper Schmeichel was mouthing off to Mile Jedernak as he was lining to take the penalty and when Mile Jedernak scored he returned favour, Zappone said. On Optus Sport, Jedernak himself dismissed any attempt on his part to fight fire with fire, but couldn't help taking a sly shot at his Group C rival. There was a little bit of the trying to get put off by the goalie, Jedernak told Optus Sport. After the game, there was a little bit of words and what not, but in the end he went the other way. Enough said about that, it wasn't the only moment missed during the broadcast where the two teams got hocked under the collar. Zappone reported, Australia's players were less than pleased by the moment Denmark continued to play after Jedernak remained on the deck following a heavy collision. The Aussie skipper stayed on the ground after the contact for a considerable period of time, but play continued even when Denmark took possession and then tried to use the numerical advantage to score a second goal. Denmark's man of the match Christian Eriksen explained after the match his team only continued to play because Australia had also played on while Jedernak remained on the ground, I think. He, Jedernak, was down, but if Australia play on, we play on, he said, that's what I told Aaron Moy before. When Jedernak was down they counter-attacked and were not going to kick the ball out just for fair play. If they don't do it, we don't do it. The Socceroos appear to have already moved on from the Denmark friction and are already focused on securing a crucial win against Peru. The Socceroos now also need France to defeat Denmark to have any hope of finishing second in the group. For me, it is only important that we beat Peru, coach Bert van Marwijk said. The rest, I have no influence over. Van Marwijk was quick to offer praise after a performance that suggested there is far more to come from Australia in this tournament. I fully agree we should have won. Against France we also deserved more, said the 65-year-old Dutchman who led the Netherlands to the cusp of World Cup glory in 2010 before defeat to Spain in the final. We have one point and we deserve four points from these two games. We had chances to win and we deserve to win, so I'm disappointed with AAP.